I'm Terry Roberts in St. John's, where for the second time this month, millions in public money is being pledged to this province's battered oil industry. This time around, Hibernia, the project that started it all, is getting a boost. Like all producers caught in the grips of this pandemic, it's been a hard year for operations on the Hibernia platform. Hundreds of layoffs, drilling operations halted. We've had to take some tough decisions. But this morning, the man in charge of Hibernia was gushing with enthusiasm. This is just a great uh, new story for Newfoundland and Labrador and for Hibernia. Earlier this month, government pledged $41.5 million to Husky Energy to help keep the idled West White Rose project on life support, creating work for more than 300 people. Today, it was Hibernia's turn. 38 million from the province's oil and gas industry recovery fund will be used to create or maintain 150 jobs over the next 18 months. The cash comes from a pot of money handed over to the province by Ottawa to help oil industry workers and lower carbon emissions in the offshore. Premier Andrew Fury led the announcement amid speculation there could be an early election call in the new year. We felt that this was uh, important to, for Newfoundlanders and Labradorians uh, to hear this exciting news before heading into the holiday season. In all, $93 million will be invested to make Hibernia's oil wells more productive, upgrade drilling equipment on the rig, and improve wireless digital technology on this aging platform. Job creation will begin as early as January, creating spin-offs in the beleaguered supply and service sector and prolong the life of the iconic Hibernia platform. I believe the Hibernia project has decades of production left, and this investment will increase the likelihood that we will still be here operating this project and supporting the economy of this province for 20 or 30 or even 40 more years to come. The Premier's defending the large investment of public money. The purpose of this money is to ensure that Newfoundland and Labrador's offshore is well positioned when this commodity does return, and it is returning. Energy Minister Andrew Parsons says at least two other proposals are currently being evaluated from the oil industry for possible funding, with more announcements to come as early as next month. The NDP described today's announcement as more corporate handouts. Leader Alison Coffin expressed concern that the government is propping up an industry that is in decline. Meanwhile, the PC party had a very different reaction and is again criticizing the government for not pouring more public money into the oil industry. Is this going to solve our problems? It's, it's short-term help and it helps the people involved right now, but we got much, much bigger problems and going and having these good, so-called good news announcements, I, I really got to sit back and wonder because you look at Terra Nova sitting idle out in Bull Arm. Terry Roberts, CBC News, St. John's.